Hey guys, I like to talk about the whole uh, Mike Pence not eating with women that aren't his wife thing that's been going around in the news lately. Like, this is something that just makes me laugh and that shows you how stupid the mainstream media is and, like, the things they actually bother covering on and they say is a big deal. Like, they're trying to make this into a story and I think most people looking at this are like, whatever, you know, who cares if he doesn't want to eat. Like, most people understand that yeah, most guys don't want their women eating alone with other men, first of all. Like, I'm sorry if this sounds sexist, but yeah, I'm not going to let my girlfriend go have dinner alone with another guy. No, fuck that shit. And vice versa. You know, that's out of respect. Like, people seem to forget, like, yes, men and women are different. And, you know, we can't always have the same social interactions with each other and expect them to be the exact same. You know, so... It's not weird that he doesn't eat alone with other women. That's respectful. That's just being respectful. Now that doesn't mean if you do you're you're disrespectful either, but it's not a big deal. And these are the same people who are making a big deal about this, but say absolutely nothing about Islam, Muslims, segregation of women within their religion, how you can't even talk to them without like, you know, wearing a hijab. How women won't, aren't even allowed to speak. You know, Trudeau in our in our country goes speaks at a segregated mosque. Nobody talks about this. Nobody makes a big deal about this, or the liberals don't. But, you know, Mike Pence doesn't eat alone with another woman, and all of a sudden he's a patriarchal bigot, this and that. It's like, oh my god. Like, this is why the media is losing credibility. This is why nobody's taking them seriously anymore, seriously anymore because they're, they're making issues out of nothing. And when, like, no more evidence comes out about this whole Russia thing, too, they're going to lose even more credibility. So they're, they're just, they just keep digging themselves in a hole. And, I, you know, I, I'm glad. Let's Hopefully they continue to do this because this will just give more support to the alternative media. And then people, you know, because people are sick of these fabricated stories or things that we're supposed to apparently care about. But, you know, a lot of the times like, you know, the transgender things, all these different laws, you know, people don't give a shit, you know, there's like 2% of the people who actually care, everybody else is just trying to, you know, get on with their lives, so this whole Mike Pence thing is just, you know, a red herring to distract from the real issues, this, this is not a problem, you know, if, if this is actually bothering you, you're a stupid person, and you should reevaluate what's important in life, and what you really should be caring about, because, the preferences of one guy and, you know, it, it, whether or not he's in a high office isn't going to make a difference. Like, he's obviously going to bend and break his rule if forced, if necessary, right? He's not a fucking Muslim. Like, he's still going to speak to women if forced alone, you know, in these types of situations. If you're speaking to an ambassador or a, uh, you know, elected official in another country. So, yes, he's not going to just, you know... And, and, and yeah, there'll be other people in the room too, and there's very few times when you just want two people alone speaking anyways, especially in government, you want that stuff to be transparent, so this whole issue, you know, this is why the mainstream media is losing support, stop covering this shit, people will start taking you seriously, but, you know, actually don't take my advice, <laughs> I want to see you guys crumble and fail for all the harm you've done over the years, so actually keep doing what you're doing, and Hopefully you fall soon. Have a good day.